for more money. What? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I was using dead presidents as a cover. You didn't get that? He said to the man he wanted many, many thousands of green people from history times. <laughs> oh, my God. We are so screwed. How are we going to get 25 grand by Friday? Many, many thousands of green. Hey, everyone. We're back for another episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're on Season 3, Episode 12. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what they've got for us today. Oh, wow, dude. This thing is disgusting. Well, there's so much rust. Maybe we should wipe it with a wet rag. What the I'm not going to do that. Why not? Because it's a goddamn circuit breaker, Mac. We'll get electrocuted. Now, I'm just going to use this screwdriver. Right? It's got a rubber handle. That'll keep me grounded. <clears throat> no, I'm pretty sure you have to be standing on rubber. Well, the bottoms of my shoes are rubber. Oh, no. You know what it is? You can't be standing on the ground at all. Maybe you should jump up into midair and do it. Hmm? Yeah, if you jump into the air and grab a live wire, you won't get electrocuted. But then if you land on the ground and you're still holding that wire, you'll be blown to bits. I saw in Tango and Cash. So I'm supposed to risk my life based on something that you saw in the movie Tango and Cash? Kurt Russell all right, did. You know, I'm going to jam <laughs> this thing with a screwdriver. All right, the rubber handle will ground me and I'll be safe. All right, all right. Give it a shot. Okay. So I'll start scraping. Oh, oh my God. Holy Ooh. shit. Whoa, 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 what, what, what the hell are you doing? It exploded. You're making it worse. Bro, you got to pay somebody to fix this, man. No, I'm tired of spending my money every time something goes wrong in this place. Well, we can't fix it, Frank. It's too dangerous. You scared the shit out of me, man. Well, get Charlie to do it. He won't go near the thing. He's already been electrocuted like 500 times. Yeah, man, I think he's starting to catch on to that. <laughs> All right, Dennis, go get me a harness, because I don't have to be swinging in the air to do this. Are you oh, kidding me? I told you. Yo, bro, did you get the flashlights? Huh? Forget about the flashlights. Check these bad boys out. They fell off the back of a truck. Huh? Nice grab. All right, but what about the flashlights? Uh, I'm sorry, someone wasn't paying attention, right? Free speakers, speakers. dude! Free yeah, speakers yeah. from the bar! Mac, let's plug these bad boys in. Yeah. We don't have any electricity! That's why we needed the flashlights! Careful! Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't... What's that? Holy what shit! Is Oh my god. Whoa. Someone might be looking That's for a that. <clears throat> bag of drugs. This is not good, dude. Somebody's gonna be looking for those drugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, relax, dude. They're gonna be shit out of luck because no one no one saw us take the speakers. Did, did they? See us take <sighs> No. There you have it. Look, good enough. Is that worry or panic? This is this is a lot of drugs, but like what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> the gang gets whacked. <laughs> That's fantastic. I wonder if we're gonna have like a like a Russian mob or something like that situation. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. <laughs> Gotta get rid of it. Yeah, drugs are bad news. Let's get rid of it. Throw in the garbage. It, ooh, well, ooh, you can't do that because a kid could find it. Right. Burn it. Well, then we're dealing with a fume situation. Yeah, you gotta so wear masks. Yeah, it's a whole and... thing. It's, it's a whole production. production. Mm -hmm. It's a big production. All right, then bury it. Oh, well. Oh, see, now we're back to the kids. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. There's like kids running with <laughs> shovels, playing in dirt, <laughs> and then one of them's gonna be Okay, it. call the police. What are we gonna just solve society's drug problem? You know what I is mean? Is that on us? Is no, that on us now? No, the community is still going down the toilet. Right, right. So I think what you're saying, sweetie, is that we could <clears throat> use the unsolvable drug problem in our society mm -hmm. to fix the solvable light problem in our bar. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I hear you. Sell we're saying we're gonna do the drugs, and then we're gonna try and fix all the lights. No, Charlie didn't understand <laughs> that. That's asinine. Well, we're gonna flip asinine. the drugs, make a bunch of money, use that money to fix the electricity. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, both ways work. I kind of like my way, but it's great plan. terrible. I'm oh. in. Well, yeah, you're not in, oh, and you're not going to sell them. We'll do it, Charlie, because yeah. uh, we found the drugs. And you're bossy. Very bossy. So, I'm not bossy. bossy. Scumbags! Frank, come on, man. Look, we're trying to get some money to fix <clears> the lights <throat> in our bar because you won't give it to us. Back in my day, only the biggest pieces of shit dealt drugs. We're not going to deal drugs. You're right. We're, we're going to flip it. We'll flip it once. It's a one-time flip. We'll go yeah. to your, that shady guy, Bingo, oh, that bingo. you know. We'll say, you know, here's a pile of drugs. Give us some money. Uh -huh. and then, oh, no, no, no. You don't go to Bingo. Bingo is my contact. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think you can call dibs on a shady people smuggler, yeah, so. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> Just do shady not mention smuggler. my name. Oh my Relax, God. dude. No one's gonna mention your name. Hey, Bingo. Frank sent us. <laughs> Frank, huh? I'm gonna skin that son of a bitch and wear his face. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Well, we're oh, trying... Oh, don't look at me. Excuse me? Look up. Up. Okay. Is this good? That's fine. This is... Now speak. Uh, okay. Uh, well, listen, <laughs> Bingo. They got a bucket guy. of nose clams, fresh from the sea. Sweet, delicious nose clams that are looking for a home, if you follow me. No, I don't follow you. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right? It's, it's not confusing. Just everybody cocaine. settle down. These are the nose kind of clams. nose clams that make you want to dance the night away. I don't get what the hell you're talking about. You're talking it's about so it. obvious. Oh, I, uh, uh, you know what? It's not obvious. Now you're being too vague. Okay. You're talking about our, dancing uh, clams. Uh, and I'm to make you dance. Because these are the kind of nose clams that you crush up into a line of white powder and you snort them up through your nose and they make you high. You use a dollar bill or a straw to do it. They come from Colombia. They're illegal. And they rhyme with propane. 
Just perfect. say cocaine. You've got a perfect medium ground there. So you want to sell me cocaine? Yes. <laughs> Why don't you just come out and say that? Because Instead of dancing so around and so We talked about tacky. it in the car on the it way is over. So no, it's like a no, thing you do. It is, is the kindergarten it's behavior of drug dealing. Do you want them or not? Yeah, of course I do. Oh, great. Well, here we go. Thank you. Ice, boom. Yeah, right. Ice, boom. <laughs> Oh, oh there. let's do it. We need to talk these. Oh. Oh, shit. Are you guys gangsters? Shut, Shut up. Ah, owe me a Coke. Listen, <laughs> rumor has it that somebody that works at this bar found a certain something that belongs to us. A certain something which may or may not have fallen off a certain truck, huh? And a certain somebody that we know thinks they saw that certain someone pick it up and take it back to that certain bar, which may or may not be the place that we happen to be. Will not be talking to a couple of certain somebody's right this very second. Agabish. Huh? <laughs> Agabish. <laughs> These guys are. Fellas, we're about six beers deep, so I think you're gonna have to be a little bit more clear because I didn't get that last part. I'm, I missed out on the whole thing. To be honest with you, I was confused <laughs> by it. I'm very confused by the. I, I was very confused by the whole thing. To be, if I'm being honest. Look, why don't you just return what belongs to us, or pay us the 25 G's that it's worth, and we'll be square. Who's gone until Friday, huh? What happens on Friday? Oh! oh. <laughs> well, Friday <laughs> is a day that we may, we may not be forced to chop your limbs off and distribute them evenly amongst your friends and your family. <laughs> and that's Friday. <laughs> that's Friday. Friday. Okay, well, thanks. Gentlemen, that's that's very a very clear message, and we will certainly get on that right away. Yeah. Okay, that's much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Uh, good day to use. Uh, good day to use. Huh? Come on, we keep chewing in my ear all the time. Come on, Let's come on, already. come on. Holy shit. Yeah, they're screwed. <laughs> There's. Hey, guess who sold the drugs? And we can fix the lights now. The lights like are fixed. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. How'd you do that? We got bigger problems than that, dude. The drugs that you just sold, they belong to the mob. What? Yeah, they saw you yeah. guys. Guys, real life, actual gangsters. It was pretty cool. They came to the bar. They it was not cool. Us, and that, look, the point is, we're gonna <laughs> nice give them the money story. that you got from Bingo, so it's no cool, you know. And then maybe we can keep a little for ourselves too. Yeah, well, how much did you get? Oh, is it, oh, do one, uh, do uh, three hundred dollars. Hello, God, you guys. Those drugs are worth twenty five grand. Twenty five oh, grand. Shit. Are you serious? Yes. Grand. No, I told you. I, I asked for more money. What? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I was using dead presidents as a cover. You didn't get that. He said to the man he wanted many, many thousands of green people from history times. <laughs> oh my god, we are so screwed. How are we gonna get 25 grand by Friday? Many, many thousands of green people from history times? Don't look at me! That is fantastic. You made this bed, you're sleeping in it. This is a life lesson for Frank, you. This is not the time to be throwing down life lessons, all right? We are going to get whacked off by a bunch Did of... Did they say that? Hey, no. guys! Did they say they were gonna whack us off? they wanted to whack us all off? No, 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 gonna get whacked off today, okay? Listen. We're gonna take the money, we'll go get our drugs back from Bingo. We'll give it to the mob, and we'll pretend none of this ever happened. And this time, I'll do the talking. Okay. Just keep my name out of it. Frank said to tell you to sell us back our drugs. Okay, no problem. Good. Good. Great. Excellent. Great. Great. Yeah, yes, $5,000. What? Oh, oh boy. God. Just an hour ago, you gave us 300 Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't recall that. Come on. All right, dude. what can we get for 300 then? I mean, you want an exotic bird? Uh, no, 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 Look, if, if you're gonna play this game, then we need to buy something from you that we can sell back to other people at a higher price. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, Oxycontin. It's a very popular pill these days. I happen to have a whole shitload of it. I feel like they're just gonna dig themselves into a deeper hole. Wow, boy. Ooh, that's wow. gonna... Bingo. Oh, wow. And it's not one thing, it's another thing. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Uh, but think about it this way. If we split it, it's only a few hundred dollars each. Great, yeah, all right. Let me just go grab dollars? my cash from my money tree. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, Leprechaun has a pot of gold. Yeah. He's, he, yeah. he lives at the end of my street. Maybe I'll go to a bank and say, hello, do I have an account here? Call Donald Trump. How do three men in their 30s not have $800 between them? They're... The economy is in shambles. Have you uh, right. taken the uh, NASDAQ, closely NASDAQ, the marketplace right the now? NASDAK. Oh, yeah. Stop talking, goddammit, fine. I'll do out it. Words. I'm not getting my money back, am I? Give us money. Give us money. <laughs> Boom.
What am I supposed to do with that? You tell us. Yeah, Bingo said you know how to sell those drugs. I told you not to involve me in that. Did you mention my name? Oh, First thing we did. Are you going to yeah. harp on him all day? God yes. damn it, the guy's going to skin me alive. He's going to skin you alive. <laughs> yeah, now will it. you just pay the mob off so we don't have to sell these I, pills? Dennis, I am not using any more of my money. The mob is going to kill us, man. Look, if I cave on this, I'm going to be bailing you guys out for the rest Jeez. of my life. So I'm putting my foot down so on this one. Uh... You bitches got to earn your own money. <laughs> Fine, whatever, it doesn't matter because, seeing as how I'm the boss... You're not the boss. Oh, yes, I am. I've come up with an excellent idea. Frank, you are going to get us into that country club that used to belong to, and we're going to sell the pills there. That'd be a good place to sell those yes. pills. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you can't you. make right. no $25,000 from that amount of pills. How long you got? Till Friday. Mm -mm. You're going to have to turn a trick or two. Go into prostitution. You are disgusting. <laughs> How could you suggest... I am absolutely not doing that. I wasn't talking about you. Guys at those country clubs get hotter broads than you. I would think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was saying the male escort... Yeah is really hard to come by. Uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll do it. Oh, uh, Charlie, you, you're not quite cut from the right cloth. What? Hey. Make it me. Mac, you, you're too low class. All those women are going to think they're going to catch something from you. Mm -hmm. They are. No. They will. <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> Dennis. Right. Now, Frank, will any of these women be attractive in any way? Probably not. Then I'm not going to do it. All right, let's sell some drugs. Oh, I got Why are you it. grabbing oh, them? Oh, very grabby. Yeah. Really? Okay, I think we gotta look for old ladies with lots of big yeah. jewelry. They got the deepest pockets. Ah, that's my girl. Mm -hmm. Dennis, smart. I think you should unbutton this button too. No, show a little chest, <laughs> Frank. I know what you're trying to do, and I'm not gonna be a horse, so just drop it, all right? Holy shit, did you guys see that midget dressed like a lawn jockey? That's a jockey, Charlie. Do I know? That's a real jockey. The ones that ride on the horses never forget it. Really? Wait, 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 wait. They have horses here? There's a racetrack next door, dude. Bye-bye. What? Oh my God. No, where are you going, <laughs> where are you man? Going? All right, whatever. Let's split up. I called Dennis. No, I'm not gonna be a whore, Frank. You already a whore. Why not make some money? <laughs> yeah, no, you're just gonna try and make me bang old ladies, and then you're gonna have me move on to dudes. All right, whatever. We're wasting time, D. Let's split up. Come on. Oh, that's good, huh? You like that? It's a real beauty, ain't you? Holy shit, you can talk. What? <laughs> that is crazy. I would have figured, if anything, your voice would be like. Super high. All right, well, good for you. She normally doesn't take to stretches. She must like you. Yeah, huh? wow. You know, she seems like a real nice horse. Well, actually, she kicked the last stable boy's brains in. It takes his food through a straw now. I bet. Oh you wouldn't I be bet. interested in taking his job, would you? I'd be very interested. Well, you have any qualms about picking up shit? What's the name so say right there? Peter Peter Usually we'd use a shovel for that, but teach his own, I guess. <laughs> not me. Hey, why'd you come to me? Oh, I just realized you picked up the shit. Oh, great. Good work. <laughs> Name the horse Peter. Okay. There's only one thing that these rich old men understand, and that is money. So I'm going to play the role of a high-powered executive, mm -hmm. and you are going to be my secretary, Linda. Oh, no, no. I will be your business partner. Hey, these guys are old school, okay? They don't like women's rights. Now, don't give me any lip. Okay, Linda, first thing I need you to do is <laughs> get Jameson on the phone and tell him I don't need a $650,000 investment. He can shove it right back up his ass. Oh, I got a better idea, Bob. How about you do it? What's that? Yeah, I think you should get Jameson on the phone for me. Well, why would I do that, Linda? You're my secretary and a woman. <laughs> what do you know about investing? Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. Remind me again what we're having Jameson invest in. Jameson is investing in new technologies. Really? Yeah, this. Which ones? Lasers. Lasers? Yep. Lasers. That is adorable. Lasers, Linda. Who wants to buy some drugs? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know that that's going to work. Let's see. Hey, man. You working? Who's this guy? Excuse me? Don't play down with me, hermano. I know a gigolo when I see one. <sighs> no, look, I'm not a gigolo, all right? For real? Yeah. A good-looking guy like you could do very well in my business. Thanks, but I'm not really into banging old ladies. Bang them? No, bro, you got it all wrong, man. These women are classy. Yeah, they just want someone to be nice to them. Flirt a little bit, that's it. Really? We have to bang these ladies? No. Bro, it's all fancy dinners, exotic Frank's vacations. These ladies have so much cash, man. It's the life. You should really think about it. You could make a killing here, bro. Oh. Hey. 
Nice work. Hey, thank, yeah, you. Man. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> hey, man, you said 20. Take it or leave it. Hey, whatever, Holmes. <laughs> Man, these guys are crazy. I, I, I can't believe they bought all my pills. Uh, nice, what Charlie they say? Nobody parties like a jockey. I was not familiar with that expression, Buster. I didn't know you guys could talk. So, <laughs> you want that job? Well, I'll tell you what. I got a little something I gotta straighten out with the Mafia. You know how that goes, oh, right? Sure. But when that's done, maybe. Because there's something about that horse, Buster. You know, it's like we looked at each other, and then there was eye contact, and I was looking at the horse, and the horse was looking at me, and then it hit me. I think, maybe, I was a centaur in my past life. Well, something tells me you probably were never half man, half horse, but hell, what do I know? All I know is you got a great attitude. So come on, you old son of a gun, and, and let Buster do a line off your boner. <laughs> what? <laughs> Charlie just... Oh, my God. Buster do a line off your boner. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Charlie just didn't even say anything. He just left. Strawberry daiquiris. Oh, my God. That might have been the best part of All this right, episode thanks. so far. <laughs> that was hey, a great how's line. How's it going, man? Uh, did you sell any of your pills? Uh, no, actually, I'm kind of working a different Dude, angle. Check it out. I sold all of mine. Okay, that's... Lawn jockeys are crazy great, people, great. man. Did uh, you know that? <laughs> Charlie, you're kind of cramped in my style. I'm trying to drum up a little business here. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Dude, I think it was a centaur okay. in my past life. I, I, it totally occurred to me. What makes you think you're half man, half horse? Charlie. He's getting derailed. Come on. How, how, how's it? He's working. Okay. Enjoy the roll. He's working. Bro, will you please get out of here? You smell like cheese. No, no. You All do right, smell it's, like... It's horseshit. Well, whatever it is, it's terrible, okay? So well, let's go. What it is, it's horseshit. Charlie. I have it all over my hands. Charlie, so let's go. Get up. Cheese. Well, the horse was eating a lot of cheese then. What? I don't know what it is. Just you stink. Come on, get up. Get Frank, up. Oh, you know what? As a matter of fact, you really don't smell that much better. If you could get out of here, that would be really helpful Don't talk me. to me that way, Dennis. Don't talk to me. I am your pimp. You're, You're not, not my... Oh, not no. Horses don't eat cheese. Don't. You are ruining First this. Will you get out of here for the love of all that is holy on earth? You reek of cheese. Oh, excuse me. Are you the Reynolds party? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> we had to escort your friends off the property. They're waiting for you by your car. Oh, damn. Oh. They're, they're all getting kicked out. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Work out ah, the guilty parties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mac made a whole series of bad decisions, and then we got kicked out, and they stole our drugs. Oh, was he being bossy? Yeah, he was being very bossy. See? And now we've got nothing. All right, it's not a total loss, right? No, no. I sold Charlie, all my pills. Actually, I sold oh, all my pills. Oh, nice. that's well. awesome. What about you, Dennis? No, I'm right. Dennis is a prostitute now. No, no. Good. <laughs> no I'm not a prostitute, Goodness. okay? There's no it's banging good. old ladies and dudes, all right? I will be providing a very important service, however, as what I would like to be called a handsome companion to dudes. To guys? No, or... not to dudes. To... No, hang on. Hold on. Hang on. To, to old, dudes. fancy, rich ladies who want to do classy, exotic, fancy things with me. Great. See? Dennis, you keep banging what? dudes. D, let's take Charlie's money and go buy some cocaine. Did you see what you're doing here with the bossiness again? Well, you're right just being a demand. Yeah. Yeah. ordering everyone I don't around. I appreciate it. You're not. 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 you so you're gonna leave me here? We cannot have you around us screwing things. Why not? How am I supposed to get home? Let's go walk like the rest of the Americans do on their two feet. Whoa! It's like 40 miles. Oh, that's what you people do. You can't do this to me. You can't do this. I'm smart and I deserve respect. I'm gonna get you sons of bitches. I think I just took one of the stop I got no, it. It's all right. Not all. Put the parking brake on. Sorry about that, boys. Yeah. Hey, you got our money. Huh? Uh, no, no, I do not have your money, but I think there's been a misunderstanding here, and I want to set it straight. <laughs> Proceed. Well, ever since your alleged package there. came into my bar, I may or may not have had absolutely nothing to do with it. Did you get in? I did. You did have something to do with it? No, no, I did have absolutely nothing to do with it. Wait, wait. You just said you did have something That's to do with it. I, heard. I, heard I think I said I no, did no, no, have absolutely said, nothing no, no, to do no, no, with no. it. You are said. You are you sure? Because the, the thing is, when you use a double negative, it becomes something completely different. But you know what? We can get into that later. The point is this, guys. 
I want to get in on what you guys got. His hair is slowly I want to dress down. like a track star. I want to wear gold shit and slick my hair back and, and grow a pompadour, you know? You want to join our crew, huh? More than anything. OK, first things first. You got to prove your loyalty. Prove my loyalty? Yeah. I want you to go clean the bathrooms. <laughs> the bathrooms. <laughs> the bathrooms. Why? The bathrooms. Because that's the first step in becoming a part of our crew. OK. Guys, I clean a mean bathroom. I, I learned from it. one of my friends, Charlie. You'll get to know him, too. Maybe I'll bring him in. Are. OK. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're going to really let him be part of our crew? A hey, summer squash for brains. I'm going to make him my bitch till Friday. Oh, bitch boy. Bitch boy. And after that, I want to whack him off here regardless. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, yeah, so this is part one. So there's going to be two parts of this one. This one is a great episode. I love that we got to meet these these new individuals, gangsters. Uh, I don't think we got their names. Maybe we did. I must have missed it. I'll have to, I'll have to go back through again. And then Bingo. Bingo was fantastic. Uh, Charlie met some lawn jockeys and had a very interesting interaction with them. And uh, Dennis is a prostitute. So I'm curious to see how this all rolls over into the next, the part two of this and like what we'll continue to see uh how this this plays out and if they get the money back or if they get the drugs back or if shit goes south so uh but we'll see uh until next time guys take care